And the last page. Determine if the graph is a function or not, we're gonna use a vertical line test. A vertical line could cross graph once. If it crosses the graph more than once, the X repeats. X repeats if crosses more than once. So right here, a vertical line anywhere on the graph would only cross once, check, function. Yeah, functions. That's an absolute value function. You'll learn about that in Algebra 2. This right here, draw a vertical line. Each one crosses once, check. This is also a function. You're gonna learn about this, this spring. This is a quadratic function. Right here, look right here. I could draw this line and it crosses twice, don't it? So I would have two comma two and I would have two comma negative one. Two comma two, two comma negative one. The X's are repeating, aren't they? Not a function. So if the X's repeat, that means a vertical line crosses it twice, not a function. Okay, the following defines a function. If six comma y is an ordered pair, what is the value of y? So x is six and we're gonna find our y, right? So plug in six. So y equals f of x and y are the same thing. So negative two over three, our x is gonna be six, isn't it? So negative two times six is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by three is negative four. So y equals, this, is, or let's just do this. This is gonna turn into negative four minus four. And negative four minus four is negative eight. So at six, our output is negative eight. So negative eight is our y when our x is six. And lastly, find the slope. Okay, what you wanna do on these problems is put dots on the tick marks. So we have a dot here. And where are we go up next to get the next dot? Right here. So it crosses the grid point here and here. So you're gonna go up and over. So we go up one, two, three, four. And we go over one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be the change in Y over the change in X. And I'm gonna use delta. Delta Y over delta X means change in Y over change over X. So up four and then over five, that's my slope. Two more problems, let's draw dots on the grid points so it crosses the grid point here, and then keep going up, where does it cross again? Right here. Do y'all see right here and right here is where it crosses. Now then you always read a line left to right like you do a book. So we're gonna go down and then over. So we went down one, two, three, four, five times, and we went over one, two, three. So we went down, our delta Y, our change in Y is negative five, and our change in X is three. So negative five over three is my slope. Okay, right here we're gonna do Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, which is your slope formula. You did this over and over in eighth grade. So draw a fraction bar, put two minuses, 10 minus negative 14 over negative four minus six. Your Y2s go here, your, your second point goes here, your first point goes here. 10 minus a negative four, these two negatives make a plus. 10 plus four is 14 over negative 10, and that's gonna simplify to negative seven over five. Make it a fraction, don't make it a slope. And y'all can't see those answers, can you? Okay, and the last one. Okay, draw a fraction bar, put minus minus. Y2 is negative three, Y1 is negative three, X2 is nine, and X1 is five. So these are gonna be negative three plus three, right? Which is zero over four. Zero divided by four equals zero. So this is a zero slope. If the zero were on the bottom, it would be a no slope. Any questions on oh, these right here? Remember, you're putting your change in Y over your change in X. Always go left to right when you do this and find your grid points. That tells you how much you go up and over.